Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome to the Solus Project yet again. We must go down this path into nothingness and see what happens. It's quite scary but it must be done. Going down the stairs is kinda awkward but I, I actually like it. <laughs> it's very simple, you just stick yourself onto the ladder and you go down. What do we have here? Passage of the Travelers 1. Well, I kind of need food and water, so I'm gonna need food and water, man. So there are four ways to go. One, two, three and four. One is blocked, so there are three ways to go. Left, forward or right. We're gonna go forward because we are men that are decisive. We always go forward. And this stupid little shit, don't do that. These little animals are quite irritating. <laughs> they scare me. God damn it. What do we have here? Oh, what is this? Can I do something with it? No, I cannot. Okay, can someone... No, I see. It's a trap. It's a goddamn trap. That's what it is. So this is like a big maze. And what the hell is this? A meteor. Oh. Oh, nice. Starvation 300%, hypothermia 100%. So it kind of helps me survive that is cool so i don't need to eat or anything for quite a bit of time now let's open this door see what what it brings hello nothing oh there's something here ah people and little alien motherfuckers that is not good and the pie sign this is definitely not good all right so i did do something because something over there is activated so I guess I gotta go here, but this thing is saying me to not go. So I'll probably see something very evil here. Oh, traps, I see. So let's save right here. And let us go through the traps. Careful. Careful, babies. And we can activate this here, maybe. By stepping on it, I see. Oh, another diagram. So... A whole bunch of little aliens came from their ship. So, did they carry this? Like a totem? Or like a big statue or something? That is interesting. So, aliens definitely did create this place. Now, why did they create the place? That is the question. It opened. Nice. Thank you. It's very cool that it opened. Oh, more hieroglyphs. I'm running low on stuff, so I might die soon. Nothing? Really? There is literally nothing inside. So I should probably hurry up if I don't want to die. <laughs> that is a good idea. I gotta hurry up, otherwise death is imminent. Give me life! Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Food and heat are rare underground. No shit. What is this? Strange stool. That is interesting. I'm not sure is that a good idea, but who gives a shit? There we go. Calories are okay. And the water. This is the water. So let us drink it. The water is okay now as well. And we should probably fill up the empty... No, the empty can. Oh, we have an empty can here. I'm gonna remove the empty can. I'm gonna take the empty bottle. And fill up the empty bottle. Wonderful. And we're gonna refill another empty bottle. Excellent. We have two bottles. We have... A can of food. Nice, nice. The situation is very, very good. Everything is okay. Okie doke. And we can carry on. Wonderful. That didn't sound safe or nice. Passage of the Travelers 2. Oh, what do we have here? A picture of the sun... The aliens creating crops. I see, so they actually took care of this planet. And they created stuff. And we have hieroglyphs. Sages speak of a world before this one. A world that was our home. Where we worked the fields under the sun. Ah, so they actually had a planet of their own. Like Earth. 
And the same thing happened to them, and they came to this planet and then lived underground, I guess. One day the heavens warmth and life became poisoned. Its celestial wrath made our waters dry, our lands barren, we were forsaken, until the coming of the sky ones. Aha. Uh -huh. A meteor. Aha, uh -huh, I think I get it. Oh, there's more here. The Sky Ones. Giants or something. They heard our call. The Sky Ones approached from above, from the divine plane above. Their holy emissary called himself Adarsum. Okay, so I guess these are the Sky Ones. Some giants or something. And the last one. The Sky Ones took us on a journey across the black ocean of stars. We ventured down the cortex of days to reach our new home. Galea. So is this Galea? Oh nice, this is interesting, I like it. This is actually very very interesting, I like this story. I wanna learn more. Alright, I'm gonna put a rock on this shit here. There you go. Solved. Problem solved completely. We can carry on. Oh look at this. Passage of the Travelers 3. Oh. It actually looks amazing. Oh, there's a dead person. And a sword. Useful tool. Nice. So they probably sacrificed the aliens. See, this is the alien head. They look like humans, but they're aliens. So the Sky Ones probably used the aliens to... For something? Let's see. They built a city of stone and showed us how. Their knowledge made our knowledge. We learned how to make the burning ice and the flowing stone. Oh. Yeah, they basically worshipped the Sky Ones. The Sky Ones told them everything. Let's see this one. The Sky Ones went underground, for that was their home. Our most hallowed followed them and became the enlightened, who spread the wisdom of the Sky Ones. Another sword. That is curious. So, they are underground, while the aliens stayed above ground. Interesting. That is fairly interesting. Find the source of the sound. Let's use the sword and open. Very nice. I have another sword, so I don't really need this one. I need to report back. I need to record this. Wilson, record. This is Octavius Sken, environmental analyst with the Solus III detachment on Glies 6143C. I landed on an archipelago, lots of rock and tough flora. As far as the eye can see is shimmering ocean. The atmosphere seems habitable, but it might be volatile. I'll keep gathering data. I followed a strange sound after the crash, which led me into a series of caves. And there's more than just geology and dripping water down here. There are signs of civilization, carvings, mechanisms, buildings. We're not the first beings here. I found a skeleton, a humanoid skeleton with a strange elongated skull. I don't know what to make of it. Its skeletal structure is so similar to ours. I need to keep going. I'll see if I can find a way to link with the satellite and submit my data. Scan out. Fucking aliens, man. So did I hear right, or is his name Octavian? Octavian. I. It's kind of cool. I'm fine with that name. Passage of the Travelers, four. Very cool. I like aliens. Thank you, game. Thank you, game, for having aliens. God damn it. After Firewatch, I was left disappointed. There are no aliens left. But I have a strong feeling that Robert Jones has something to do with this game. Holy shit in my ass. Okay, that was... That was a bit, uh... Aggressive, wasn't it? Can I run through it? Run! Fucking ass! Okay. Okay. Run! Run through it! Ugh. Okay, we're good. Everything is fine. A lot of mushrooms on the ground. 
lot of fungus. A lot of fungus everywhere. God damn it. Very scary. You're dying. It's always very bad when you hear a person dying. You know, I, I strongly believe that Robert Jonesy is behind all of this. I don't know, is it before or after the Firewatch situation? But... I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. It's very hard to say. There's something... Pulsating over here. God damn it, the game is... The game is... Interesting. I mean, these are just caves and there's nothing else, but it's still very interesting. Super interesting, actually. Oh? So, there is something above... Above this level. Oh, nice! We are out of the caves. Very cool. Finally. Crossing of roads, one. Follow the path and find out where it goes. Okay. I shall follow the path. Oh, it's so beautiful. The music is so chill and everything is so... Shortage of sleep. Oh, shit. I gotta go sleep. I gotta go sleep, man. So I'm gonna go back into the cave where I'm kind of safe. And I'm gonna go for a quick sleep. Quick nap. Close my eyes and wait. That's what I do usually. I don't really sleep. I just close my eyes and wait. I wait until the time passes. And then I continue doing this. Play games and stuff. So, here we are. Let us go sleep. How many hours should we sleep? I think eight hours is good. Eight hours of sleep. Oh, blood? Why is there blood? Dehydration shit. Evidence. Why is there... Oh, holy Operator shit. This is not good. This is not good. I slept too long. Did not expect this shit. This is bad. Are we good? No, we are still bad. But it's fine, it's fine. Nothing to worry about, my friend. I can uh, go go out. Yes, go out, because I found some plants. We can eat the plants and everything is gonna be fine. Yes, that's correct. Fuck your inventory, fool, you stupid. Go eat this. This is not helping me. I need more calories, goddammit. Eat. Eat all of it. All of it, please. Okay, there's so many plants. Thank you. Starvation thank you, thank you. God damn it, I can't do anything now. I have to... Oh, there's something here. Tales from our elders' tongues speak above of the high... You son of a bitch, I can't. Tales from our elders' tongues speak of working the land high above the sea, sleeping beneath the sun and stars, but Utuku and the enlightened withdraw beneath the surface to the domain of the sky ones. Imminent starvation, which is not good. Which means that I need to find something uh, that will not uh, kill me. I need more food. Shut the hell up and find me food. I gotta run, this is a bad situation for everyone. There's a storm and everything is just so shitty. I know that the temperature is dropping, just give me some fucking food. God damn it. Am I asking for that much? Calorie intake, found a beacon, found a glow stick and shit. There should be some food here. Thank you, thank you, we found it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Equip the circuit board. What is this? A lighter. Someone died here, just... I don't give a shit about him, give me food. Where is his food? Oh, act to the plan. Food. Fuck your inventory, god damn it. So I can. Can I just. Shh. Excellent. Ate the food, finally. Okay, we are good. This was kinda dangerous. Alright, so I am safe here, everything is good, uh, and we're going to continue next time, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, it got slightly scary for a moment, but everything is fine now. Everything is fine. Next time we're gonna read all of this shit. We're gonna fill up some bottles. We're gonna reorganize our inventory. And things are gonna be fine. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. 
I have been better, your glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardi eternally touch your butt.